And Martin O'Neill keeps the same Villa team for the third Premier League game running. Brad Friedel faces his old club, still looking for his first clean sheet for his new one. Carlos Cuellar still short of fitness, so it's the same back four. Nicky Shorey having recovered from the injury that forced him off at Stoke. The spotlight very much on the Villa midfield, with Gareth Barry playing against his suitors. Rafa Benitez wanted Barry in his team. He used to have John Carew in his. They were at Valencia together. James Milner has to wait for his Villa Park return. He's on a bench that includes new backup American goalkeeper Brad Guzan, just back from the Olympics. Well, this will become a very familiar back four that we see in there. I feel sure of that with Luke Young, Davies Larson, and Shorey. Carlos Quayler will obviously have a, a question to ask about that, but that looks a pretty solid back four with two raiding fullbacks. James Milner's arrival obviously puts threat on whoever's playing wide on the right, you would have to imagine. He's a natural right-sided player, real coker isn't. He might play a little narrow, we don't know. If they go slightly negative, and I don't see why they should, they could play Agbon Lahore from the right, Young from the left, and just play Carew up front. I hope that's not the case. I'd like to see Villa go and take the game to them, but they're just a little unbalanced on this right-hand side. In goal for Liverpool, it's Jose Reyna on the occasion of his 26th birthday. It's the same back four as for the victory over Middlesbrough. Italian Andrea De Sena missed the midweek Champions League win. Liverpool's match winner against Borough, and here last season, Steven Gerrard is sidelined by his groin injury, so returning Olympians Lucas and Javier Mascherano play. Up front, Robbie Keane seeks his first Liverpool goal. Fernando Torres seeks his 35th. And Ryan Babel still can't get in the starting 11. He and Yossi Benayoun are both on the bench. Well, you mentioned Benayoun and Babel. I wonder if this is the first moment of caution from the Liverpool manager this season. Look at that midfield. Does it look the right balance? The lads talked about it, Glenn and Jamie. Keep your eye on Robbie Keane. They may just shift a little bit, bring Lucas infield and play Keane from the left. To me, it doesn't make sense. you got Babel, you got Benayoun. Why wouldn't you play somebody more natural there? And for Lucas to play wide left, does it look right? We've got it like that at the moment. But, and maybe they're playing Lucas here, who'll play against Rio Coca, who, again, we said, might be a little narrow. So we'll have a quick look at that early on in the match and find out where Keeney's going to start the game. Well, he's further back down the line than he was last season. One of the many things that the transfer saga cost Gareth Barry was the captaincy of this club. Martin Larson takes on that responsibility. Jamie Carragher replacing Steven Gerrard at the head of the line for Liverpool. It's a transfer saga that made Ronaldo to Real Madrid or Berbatov to Man United pale in comparison. The battle for the boy from Hastings has gone on much longer than the battle of Hastings. But the real battle's on the pitch today. It's Villa against Liverpool, and it's coming live next. Well, that's the correct way to start the afternoon. And what a crowd, incidentally. That's either a sign of great expectation here at Villa Park or the quality of the opposition, maybe both. But uh, you'd say that was a sellout. Villa and Liverpool then commentators Andy Gray and Rob Hawthorne. Well, I'm not sure there were any winners from the transfer saga. Liverpool didn't get their man. Villa have been left with a player at least temporarily unsettled by unfulfilled ambitions. And Barry's own attempt to jolt the move cost him some money and the captaincy here and the respect of the supporters who used to idolise him. The perfect way for him to build bridges with them today is to do something against Liverpool. As Villa certainly need whatever motivation they can, bearing in mind their recent record against today's opponents. Peter Crouch's late equaliser at Anfield back in January extended Liverpool's unbeaten league run against Villa to 30. Here's Jamie Carragher. And now Xavi Alonso. It's De Sena and the clearance by Curtis Davis. This is Robbie Keane. Uh, he started centrally, hasn't he? Robbie Keane, we talked about that. The lads debated it. Larson coming across to meet Dirk Kautz. Now Xavi Alonso. Dosena. 
Here's Alonso again. Counts layoff. And here's Ashley Young looking to free Carew, but Martin Skirtle was in the way. Well, you just feel it's important for Aston Villa that Liverpool don't slip into this easy passing frame of mind that they can get into at times. They're very good at it. They let them get into the stride. They'll move the ball about the pitch. They'll make you work very hard. Already they're looking to uh, get off to a smooth start, Liverpool. Their season so far has been built around late winning goals, a pattern that uh, continued in that Champions League qualifier in the week. Here's Lukia. John Carew. Rio Coca. Young. Put out by Dosena. There's a strange choice if they're going to steal it as Liverpool playing Lucas from the left. They have Ben Ayun, they have Babel, two natural players who play wide. Particularly Ryan Babel, who's been you know, introduced slowly back into the team. Might have been a great opportunity for them to play today, but Lucas it is. And despite those two players you mentioned on the bench, they're still looking to bring Albert Riera in as well. <laughs> exactly. A deal that remains to be completed. Here's Petrov looking for Agbon Lahore. Arbelo following him out there. Ashley Young here in support. Oh, brilliant from Dirk Kout. He's had to travel 40 yards back the pitch, you know, because when Robbie Keane lost it and that long cross-field pass put the right back, Arbelo in a little bit of a trouble and he needed his mate to get back and help him. As always, he was willing to do so. But that's a long busting run if you have to do too many of them. One in a week when Liverpool have uh, had a, have certainly been fully extended in the Champions League, and it was uh, Kaut's goal that got them into the group stage. Villa, in contrast, had a slightly easier time of it against uh, FH of Iceland, having pretty much done the job in the first leg, allowing Martin O'Neill to rest plenty of players for that game here on Thursday. Well, they've just drifted in now, Liverpool, to a system where you see the ball coming down to the left, who's just going to pop in left of your screen, Robbie Keane. Lucas just gone infield, so... That might well be where Keane finds himself playing. It's a starting position, so to speak, will be left side. Yeah, it definitely is that way. Lucas is tucked right in now. Robbie Keane playing from the left. Be Alonso's header. Now Young. And Skirtle failed to cut it out. And Bonnehaw carried it on a little far, but still won the corner. And just about got it past Jamie Carragher as well. Skirtle made the mistake. How many times have you seen Carragher get across and rectify someone else's mistake? Did it again there, and he had to. Corner cleared by Torres. Back by Luke Young. Matt Friedel, who played 31 matches in his time at Liverpool, the first of which was actually here, a 2-1 defeat against Villa. Here's Shorey. Now Petrov. It's Gareth Barry. Agbon Lahore. Shorey. Skirtle hoping to uh, let it run, and the goal kick given. And Villa's last two wins over Liverpool both came at Anfield. Their last win against them here back in February 1998. And that was John Gregory's first game in charge. Martin O'Neill's first league defeat in charge of Villa was against Liverpool. <laughs> well, we watched another team earlier on today. A team called Tottenham go to a ground where they've got an awful record and come away with a pretty positive result at the end. And a little bit Everton. <laughs> Everton will get them right. 
Aston Villa, we're hoping that that will be the case this afternoon. I think they've got a great opportunity to make a statement here today. The incentive for Liverpool after that early result is that they can go to the top of the table. Perfect record in the Premier League so far for Rafa Benitez with two wins, both achieved late on. Sunderland and Middlesbrough seen off already. Martin O'Neill keeping faith with the team that lost at Stoke. There's Shorey. Now Ashley Young. It's Nicky Shorey with the throw. Here's Barry. Barry who had a difficult day at Stoke uh, last week, possibly the first signs that the uh, transfer speculation had taken its toll. One by Kaup from Carew, but Barry in there again to pick up the pieces. Well, I think Gareth Barry knows he wasn't just an innocent party in all of this, and that's why Villa fans you know, will take a little bit of time. But there's nothing like putting a shift in and working hard for your team and playing well. That's the quickest way to build bridges. Shorey. Now Larson. Here's Barry. Should have signed for a big club, seems to be the cry from the uh, Liverpool supporters. <laughs> of course, the irony of it is that he was intended to go there to play in the Champions League, and uh, they were two minutes away from a penalty shootout that could have seen them dumped into the same competition that Villa would be contesting this year, the UEFA Cup. Pouch goal, of course, ensured that Liverpool will be in the uh, elite competition, however. Yeah, it wasn't a brilliant performance, but... The job was done. Qualification. Just outskilled here. Let's it run across his body. It was a beautiful first touch from Stylian Petrov. Mascherano had no answer, but just to tug him back now. An area where Villa was so successful last season. Was any set plays and Ashley Young's delivery. There is a feeling that Liverpool are slightly more vulnerable in the air when Sammy Hoopy is not around. As Young lifts this one in, and Curtis Davis tries to follow it in round the back. Well, it was dropped into not a bad area. And they're just getting in the way, they're stopping the runs. They're upsetting Carew and Larson too, the, the real big attacking players. I think the disappointment is the quality of the ball was there, dropped in a lovely area, but only Curtis Davis was anywhere near it. It is a solid English base that... Martin O'Neill has tried to build his team around. Seven Englishmen in the starting lineup today, and James Milner now back at the club amongst the substitutes available to the manager. Here's Petrov. Now Carew. And this place clearance from Rayner, and he got away with it. Well, I think this is the right start for Villa. They've put them under a bit of pressure. They've started quickly, and they've asked Liverpool one or two questions. Not allowed them to settle. Been on the front foot. You know, funny enough, in the first couple of minutes, I know it was only the first couple of minutes, but when they didn't shift to this system, Liverpool, Bobby Keane actually got involved quite a bit in the game. He was knocking the ball about, he was getting possession. Since they've made the switch, Liverpool, he hasn't had a kick. Here's Shorey. Now Xavi Alonso, another player who had uh, reason to feel unsettled by all the Gareth Barry speculation as he was the one who was most likely to be heading for the exit door. Now Torres. Come off Luke Young to win Liverpool the corner. <laughs> That's 
Jonathan Skirtle coming forward for the kick, still to score his first Liverpool goal, as has Lucas in the Premier League. Alonso with the corner. Martin Atkinson keeping an eye on things. Last new clears. It's a brilliant header. That's what you call a defensive header. Up towards the halfway line. Gives you a chance to get regrouped. And Arsenal will be uh, prime among those hoping Villa can keep a clean sheet today. He's been uh, concerned about the number of goals that they've been leaking so far. Conceded very quickly after taking the lead against the Icelanders here on Thursday. It's Curtis Davis. Here's Arbeloa with the throw. Now showing for it. And giving it back to Alvaro Arbeloa. Cut out by Nicky Shorey. It's Lucas. Peru. Skirtle had hold of his shirt. I just don't understand why he wants to get a, a hold of his shirt. No idea. I mean, he, he isn't going anywhere. He is behind him. Carew's getting the ball comfortably. So he just makes sure you stay there. Why is he doing this? What is, what is he hoping to achieve? And how is he hoping to get away with it? And then he compounds it by going through the back of him. And he's been booked as well. Just to add to his displeasure. Here's Petrov. Shorey. By Alonso. Yeah, he's been the one Alonso who sat in front of the back, the back four. He's allowed Mascherano to go a little bit further up the pitch with Lucas, and Alonso's just been the one to anchor. And I think they thought that might be Mascherano on the ball now with anchor, but it hasn't been. It's been Alonso who's been nice and deep, almost like a quarterback if you want. I'm always available if you want to give me the ball, sort of thing. If anyone's got a point to prove today, maybe it's Alonso more than uh, Gareth Barry. A slip then from Alonso, and here's Agbon Lahore. Now Barry, got away from Rio Coca. That was a bit heavy, the ball to Rio Coca. Here's Davis. Now Petrov. Shorey. This is Barry. Agbon Lahore. And back well by Arvaloa. There's De Sena. And that ball's not on. I kind of half made a run duck out, but that was a really poor pass from De Sena. Now Curtis Davis. Back bomb the hall. Sena and Mascherano, gold medal winner at the uh, Olympics with Argentina, for the second time. Now Alonso, and here's Skirtle, Arbeloa, out. Who's come out to collect that? Rio Coca resisting Mascherano's initial pressure. Argentina not giving up on it though. Rio Coca did well. Now ba uh, Petrov, Barry to his left. Now 
Nicky Shorey. Sort out John Carew. It's away by Skirtle. Just letting it run. Well, it was a grown up gesture from uh, Martin O'Neill to shake hands with his opposite number before the match. Mm, they're a little bit further apart than that picture suggests, <laughs> wouldn't you see? <laughs> <laughs> In every sense. <laughs> anyway. So Shorey was part of the Reading team that inflicted on Liverpool their first league defeat of last season. Barry. Up to Carew with a header down, looking to set up Von Lahore away. Not the first time I've said good defender, Jimmy Carragher. <laughs> Not want to be the last, I guess. He's kept himself between Von Lahore and the ball as it was knocked down. Just look a little iffy, Liverpool, to me. You know. Davis, there's Young, now Count, that's Mascherano, good interception by Larson, on by Ashley Young, Rainers. To put Villa on the back foot, Curtis Davis underneath it. Lucas went into challenge. And here's Luke Young. Overrun. Here's Carragher. Liverpool with more defensive options now with uh, Daniel Agger back mm -hmm. to fitness. So we hope he's still around, although he has been uh, pursued by Stoke. Mm, Defender's never been one of the problems, has it, really? And always been pretty solid. Difficult to play against. Times intervention from Curtis Davis. Rabelow looking for Dirk Kout. Let's come out to Lucas. as though the spending will continue for Rafa Benitez with the uh, deal for Albert Riera. It's heading towards £200 million spent in his time in charge to restructure the club. Yeah, I mean, they're looking for a much better sh uh, shift in the league, aren't they, the Liverpool fans? They want to be in and around it come the beginning of May of a season, not out of it in January. I'm not quite sure what his plans were today, though. I, I really, I'm, I'm really not. I mean, it's a, it's a huge compliment to Aston Villa that he's gone in with five in midfield and said to Robbie Keane, you, know, you drop back off the game all the time and just leave Torres up there on his own. Um, you get Babel, you get Ben Ayun, have talked about it. Because at the moment, it just seems to be that Villa have the ball, Liverpool happy to defend it and see if they can just pick off something on the break. Young frustrated in his attempt to work a way through. And Nicky Shorey with a throw, looking for Carew. <laughs> Took a late Steven Gerrard winner to uh, beat Villa here last year. And Villa did lead 
at Anfield until uh, two minutes from the end when Peter Crouch scored the equaliser against his old club back in January. Martin Larson who scored an own goal in the game here last season. Here's Kaut. And away by Larson. Here's Alonso. Now Desena. Here's Keane. Alonso. Lucas. Now Desena. Barry just holding off Mascherano. Again, more frustration for Liverpool at their inability to find a way through. They had the ball, but real, real lack of options for the player on the ball, as far as Liverpool were concerned. And the uh, Villa supporters hailing Gareth Barry now. He uh, did face some criticism from them pre-season, not necessarily over his uh, desire to get away, more to do with the way that, uh, in the end, he tried to engineer the move, I think. Here's Barry. Now Shorey. This is Carrigan. To say no. This is Carragher. Xavi Alonso. Shorey. Here's Barry. Lifting one through, looking for Carew. Got past Carragher. He just tried to nick it, Jamie Carragher there. A little bit too strong. I'm just trying to force it, Alonso. A little bit of frustration with that last pass. Trying to rake it from one side of the pitch to the other. Got caught out. But he gets it now, and he's had it plenty of times. And he's looked up and he's looked for options. And just like he's done there, there were none ahead of him. And they've had to just keep it and work it again. And it was Alonso who found the pass for Torres that opened up Sunderland on the opening day. Liverpool have won both their Premier League games so far without necessarily performing at their best. I suppose you could argue they're only peaking too soon. And uh, it is a the mark of a good team, isn't it? That they can win games when not playing well. Here's Arbeloa. Now Alonso. Mascherano. There's nothing left of them. Not a single ball. With Keane tucked in on this. I just think if you have the ball, then the left back, the Senna, has to just break out and come and help him. You know, they've got 3v2 at the back. Now, the left back has got to come into this gap now and say, Give me the ball, because you still have it. No, no need for him to stay back there. But he didn't have a ball on down here because the Senna thought, Well, I'm too frightened to go forward. A very frustrating first 25 minutes. For Liverpool. Well, I guess Benitez will say, well, 1-0-0 at Villa Park, you know, or away from home against one of the league's better sides. So, is 0-0 25 minutes in such a bad result? Probably not, but performance hasn't been that good. Back on the hall, now Young. Young's cross, Rainer unchallenged. Is Mascherano. Maybe Torres ahead of him. No, he didn't give him a chance. And he just had a little tweak at the right hamstring, Fernando Torres there. Oh, and that is, that is not good news. 
just turned it was an awful ball from Mascherano, you know. Should just be playing it into him and the young Spaniard turned quite sharply because the ball was a bad one and sometimes that's when you you know expected it into feet and when it went past him, you know, you sometimes turn quickly and it just jerks a little muscle, just pulls it out. He wants it to feet. Now there's that turn, and as soon as he turned there, you knew he had a problem. He pulled up immediately. Puts the brakes on. And he reaches for it pretty much right away. Oh, dialogue with Benitez and the coaching staff, but he's uh, over. Torres has made his mind up, hasn't he? Yeah, that's that. Well, what a blow to Liverpool. It's been a frustrating enough start for Rafa Benitez anyway. But now he has to reorganise without his star striker. And Ryan Babel has been prepared to come on. Here's Gareth Barry. Now, Nigel Rio Coca. Here's De Sena. Here's Xavi Alonso. Petrov. Mascherano. Out. Now Alonso. Here's Mascherano to Dosena. There's Xavi Alonso trying his luck. I know he's done it before, but it would really be something special to beat Brad Friedel. Let's have a word from our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Yeah, Rob, very quickly from two years. Uh, Fernando Torres limps dejectedly down the tunnel. His problem was one of a hamstring. Well, it really is a, a bitter blow to Liverpool that so often they rely on him to be their match winner. But at the ground where he made his uh, Premier League debut, wasn't on the score sheet that day either last season. Fernando Torres' involvement here is curtailed. Here's Luke Young. No. Villa must surely try and press forward at this particular moment in time. Man down, ball still in play. If they can keep it in there and work the ball around Liverpool, they might make a chance for themselves. I just don't think, to me, watching Robbie Keane play almost left back was quite what Liverpool fans had in mind when he was signed. And that's what's happened for this first half. And Torres and Keane, two of the brightest players, two of the most creative players that would win you a game, have been starved of the ball. Which well, just professionals will play anyway. I'm sure it wasn't what Robbie Keane had in mind when no. the prospect of a Liverpool move came up. Here's Gareth Barry, Keane in front of him. Peru, going to try and roll away from Jamie Carragher. Who could get a note. Well, if Carew's got his shirt, then he shouldn't have. And I can only think that if he's got a great view of this and sees him, he's got his hand in the shirt and he's tugging away, there you go. Both doing it, I mean, how do you work that out? Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Jamie Carragher had as much a chunk as you'll see in a minute. Watch this. There's a chunk of the number 10. Look at that. Now, how do you define who is a guilty party there, Rob? So many times defenders get the advantage. But that was definitely six of one, half a dozen of the other. Absolutely. Well, Liverpool have uh, made their change and they've sent on 19-year-old David Ungo, the big French forward, who's uh, been more prolific as a youth international than he was for Paris Saint-Germain, with whom he scored three goals in 19 matches last season. Big chance for him to prove himself with plenty of time to do that. Here's Robbie Keane. Cassina, challenge by Luke Young. <laughs> 
Here's Mascherano. Cleared by Curtis Davis. Back by Desena, who uh, held off Rio Coca. Skirtle. Now Carragher. This is Desena. Avaloa. This is Lucas. Now Ngo. Ball in by Kautz, cleared by Petrov. Now Rio Coca on the burst. Mascherano and Desena, they're trying to take care of him. He's made a break round there, but it's Mascherano who gets back. Great carry of the ball there from Nigel Rio Coca. Best part of 80 yards, he's carried this ball. Fight now, first of all, Mascherano, and then just muscling his way past Desena, that's out. Took the two of them to close him out, got his team a corner. Huge round of applause. Yes, the energy Rio Coca showed there has lifted the crowd, and Barry takes the corner, which is dealt with by Carragher. Now Rio Coca has to start it all off again. He's just having a breather there, I think. It was the last person he wanted to drop to. He's just sucking his breath in again. Here's Agbon Lahore. Away by Skirtle, Mascherano. Now Kautz. Arbaloa. Larson wasn't sure where it had gone, it's fallen for Ungo. He was short of options. Lucas tried to help him out. Here goes Rio Coca again. Now Luke Young. Petrov. Larson. Now Shorey. Here's Ashley Young. Barry. Here's Carew. Barry. And he's onside, Young. Carew. Right at Rayner. Young. Barry. Petrov. Oh, that was ambitious. At the still of the ball. After the best piece of football in the match, by far. Well, first work Raiders had to do, really, and he still wasn't fully extended. Now Larson. Shorey. A skirtle climbing over Agbon Lahore. I think he's applauding the build-up. He's applauding the ball from back to him from Ashley Young, I think it was. It's Barry has lost out and go and able to uh, take it all away though because Larson intervened. Yeah, I think Liverpool are pretty much getting what the system at the moment do there. They don't deserve to lose Torres, of course, no one does, but they're just inviting Villa to have the ball, they're just inviting them to come forward. And when they get it, Liverpool, they really don't have enough movement about the pitch to trouble Villa. Here's Barry. He's going to say it will come right again. 
Stylian Petrov. Rio Coca. No, 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 no. Carragher. Marquin. Skirtle. And I could only think that Rafael Benitez wanted to nick this 1 0 at best. Well, whatever plans he did have have been upset by that uh, loss of Torres with that uh, hamstring injury. Petrov. Now Barry. Here's Young. Barry looking to uh, pick out Ashley Young. Arbelow in the way. There's Kout. From Larson's header. Kout. Goes touch to Lucas. Cleared by Curtis Davis. Mascherano. Here's to Sena. Alonso. Skirtle. Lucas. Back by Barry, this is Luke Young. Well, that's been pretty much Liverpool to a T. Had the ball, right, left, went right, came back left, and then gave it away. But the best chance of the match, really the only chance of the match, it's the only time Villa have looked like opening up Liverpool at the back, although they've had lots of possession, was this. And it's lovely football, just keep your eye out the way they manoeuvre this ball. Everything deliberate, lovely little give and go here, beautiful little pass, not offside. And just when you think he's going to pull the trigger, he doesn't. He reverses it back to Carew and says, go on, John, give us the lead. And Carew, well... He says I'm going to side foot it, and Carragher's lucky he doesn't get a little toe in that, but it would have just gone beyond the goalkeeper. It was Barry's challenge that's upended Martin Skirtle. And the ball got away from him and steps across the front of him. Not a to... Here's to Sena. Now Mascherano. Xavi Alonso. Sena cleared by Shorey. Chance perhaps for Counts. Side netting. Well, he had Robbie Keane just pulled his position just to the edge of the box. He goes in at first. There you see Keane looking at him in the D. He's saying, just give me the ball. I'm there. And from this sort of angle, maybe Count would have been better looking for Robbie Keane just to slide it across to him. Poor header from Nicky Shorty, that's what gave him the chance. Here's Skirtle. Now Lucas Keane adopting a more uh, familiar role now. It's been a really uh, frustrating first half for him, playing out of position. I think it's been a frustrating first half from Liverpool. You know, if that's a change that's made and it's staying, then you can only think it will benefit, in a positive sense, Liverpool.
Here's Mascherano. Now Lucas. Getting away from Luke Young. We're going to pull one across for Ungo. There's Ashley Young with space to move into. Mascherano trying to close it down. Now, put the ball in the end. Well, probably came back down below us again, Rob, so <laughs> he's not playing up front. But we shall see. Here's Kaut. And Mascherano. Alonso. Here's Keane. Through to Ungo. Oh, no, I thought. thought it took a deflection. I thought it took a reflection like him. But this is why I'm saying to you, this is why Robbie Keane should play where he is. Look at that. A beautiful reverse ball, and that's a corner. Came off Larson. Sure it does. As he goes and swings it, there's a little deflection. You can see the ball change direction. Almost took it into the top corner. For the final five minutes of the half, it looks as like they're sticking Keane up there, and they very nearly root to... An immediate dividend from that. Oh, as I say, I had no idea why he wasn't. He hasn't been there. You're not playing against the side that plays five in midfield. You're playing against the side that plays 4 4 2. They've not got a wide right side midfield player because Nigel Weir Coker isn't. So no need to block it off. You know, and that's the first time in the whole of that 41 minutes that Keane's been in, the fr in front of goal, edge of the 18 yard box and involved. And he almost fashions a goal for his side. for a way through, maneuvered out of the way by Mascherano, strongly but fairly in the referee's view. Oh, he's given him a bad ball. He gave Kaut a really bad ball, Javier Mascherano. You know, he's a much better player than that. All that good work he did in nicking the ball just outside his own box and then travelling that far. It's just a little sloppy, lack of concentration, look, frustrations there. A bit rusty, perhaps. Well, Spanish League football returns to uh, Sky Sports this weekend, the first weekend of the league season. Barcelona in action against Nemantia. That's available on the red button on Sky Sports 1 tonight from 6 o'clock. And Real Madrid begin the defence of their crown against Deportivo. That's tonight from 8 o'clock, Sky Sports 1. Here's Petrov. Rio Coca. Barry. Now Luke Young. Mascherano. Xabi Alonso. Here's Arbeloa. Now Mascherano. Just the one additional minute in the first half. Sestilian Petrov. A real tackle by Skirtle, it's a foul. Well, the only thing that the referee can be judging is he kicks through Kuru to get to the ball. He does get the ball, but make your own minds up. Does he kick the back of the leg, the leg first? Well, maybe not. But that's obviously the referee's decision that was player first, then ball. He might be a little unlucky there, Skirtle. But it's right on half-time. And apart from the one lovely move, Villa haven't looked like creating an awful lot. A lot of a good possession. It's Ashley Young with the kick. Larson looking to get in on it. Rainer unfazed. Here's Alonso. Lucas. I 
just think if he's going to keep this system, Benitez, he's got to surely have to think of getting maybe Ryan Babel onto this pitch on the left-hand side, give him a natural 4-4-2 and really give Luke Young a problem. Checkmate at half-time, John Carew had the clearest opening, but the biggest question against the tactics of Rafa Benitez in his deployment of Robbie Keane up until the last five minutes of the half, it's Villa nil, Liverpool nil. That would be his justification that he hasn't conceded and Liverpool are very much in this game. Glenn Hoddle and Jamie Redknapp are with us, goalless at half-time, but Chelsea were held earlier in the day. That's a blow, Torres off. Analysis when we come back. Far everything's gone in their favour, hasn't it? That the main man Torres is is not on the on the field. I mean that really is for the defenders. Uh, is a it's fantastic news because you know that he can he can destroy, he can run the other way and cause you a problem. Mm -hmm. So they'll look at him if they believe if they get the ball forward enough to the, to the forwards at Bonlahor and Carew, they can cause problems. I can understand the fact, Richard, that they perhaps didn't want to press this game with Torres in mm -hmm. in the side. Now Torres has gone off. I don't see it, I don't see this as a Villa home side that are pressing. Yeah. They really need to up the tempo the as the home team. We, we, you know, we've been disappointed with Liverpool, Jay, but we, we've got to say Villa have been, as the home side, disappointed. I would say that dressing room would have all been about, let's yeah. up the tempo, let's pr start pressing Liverpool a little bit higher up the pitch, because we don't need to, to, to defend that. They're a little bit lopsided as well, aren't they, with Rio yeah. and Coker at, at yeah, right are, side. Yeah. I mean, maybe Milner might come on and be an addition for him. That, yeah, because he's a good cross on the ball. Milner, Milner, if he comes on, will instantly lift the crowd. Yeah. The crowd love a new player, don't they? And if he comes on halfway through this half, you might get that sort of impact later on. But they need to up the tempo of the home side and, and start pressing a little bit. It's goalless. Villa attacking the halt end. Commentators Andy Gray and Rob Hawthorne. Well, Liverpool haven't made any further changes to the team that ended the first half, so Ngor will be their uh, primary attacking threat, they hope. Fernando Torres going off in that first half with a hamstring injury. Bad news for the new Spanish coach, Del Bosque, with the first couple of qualifiers coming up and possibly the man who won them, the European Championship, being sidelined. Oh. Liverpool will be hopeful that uh, the extra week off will give him time to recover for the Manchester United game. Well, there's no way that Benitez will allow him to go if there's any doubt about his hamstring. Rob at all. Good news for Liverpool. Two weeks, as you say, to get it right if it's just a tweak. And it looked like it was just a tweak. But where will the breakthrough come here? It was uh, very much uh, square pegs in round holes for some of the personnel in that first half for Liverpool. It looks from the outset as though Robbie Keane is taking up a more central position again. Yeah, he is. Here's Akbon Lahore, got away from him, there's Jamie Carragher. And there's Larson giving him go a chance, but Kaut takes over. Kaut has uh, carved out a, a niche for himself on the right-hand side in the role that he uh, fulfilled for much of last season. Yeah, uh, now it looks like he is a wide-right midfield player. Be used, I guess, like, like he was in midweek as an emergency. If they need a goal, they can always throw him up top. But this has been a problem area for Liverpool for a while now, the wide areas of the pitch, left and right. Peru. Now Kaut. And here's Lucas. Free kick. Yeah, it looked up. Just get a little bit of him here as he's trying to get round the side of him. Pulls at the arm. Just off balances, unbalances him. Xavi Alonso hits the kick in towards Robbie Keane. And Liverpool get the corner. Xavi Alonso with the kick. Well, as he looks in, he sees John Carew at that front post, so you know I've got to miss him out. That's a certainty. If I don't, it's not getting past him. Well, didn't get past Young, <laughs> let alone Carew. Well, you know, you must look at that and think, yeah, 
He's huge. If I'm short at all at the front post, it's getting headed away. And he is in that gap. And now can he clear Young and Carew? He can, and Friedel was uh, caught a little bit then, had Kaut been able to get to that. Just seemed to get ahead of it, that Kaut. Just seemed to drop slightly behind him. See if the ball fizzed in. And that's one of those, as soon as Bradfield makes a move, he knows he isn't getting this. And then he begins to panic, but Kaut get in a little early, and you see how he had to try and put the brakes on, stop. You watch him, he'll come into shot, then he's stopping, then he's trying to get back and get ahead on it. Curtis Davis just did enough. Well, his goals ratio in the uh, league has certainly suffered since he took on this new role, Dirk Kaut. 23 Premier League matches without scoring since at Newcastle last November. Still comes up with some very important ones in the Champions League, though. Arbeloa, Xabi Alonso, now Kaut. And Paul looking more in rhythm at the uh, start of the second half. Here's De Sena looking for a goal. What a ball that was as well. So, well Nicky Shorey thought it was a goal kick. And it was a little nick as it came through. The referee realised that as a, and goal goes into that near post and Larson and Davis go with him. There's a little nick on it. I think it might be Curtis Davis who slides in there and just gets a touch on the ball. Surely, pretty sure it's a goal kick. And I'll be hoping that's not a costly decision, Nicky Shorey. Xabi Alonso's corner. Way by Barry for now. Dosena back in. Cleared by Davis. Sure, his relief, it does come to nothing. Here's Rio Coca. Struggling away from De Sena. He's done. Well, I thought he had done, but uh, referee's brought play back. Damned if you do and damned if you don't, referee here. I think now he thinks that Rio Coca isn't getting past De Sena and he's blown his whistle, and it's only now that Magnuson realises, ah, I've made a mistake here. you can uh, forgive the referee for. Here's Luke Young with a free kick. It's Carew is aiming for, and he found him. Away by Arbeloa, Villa corner. And you still feel that this, as far as Villa are concerned, offers the best route of a breakthrough. So often it did last season. Delivery hasn't quite been up to Ashley Young standard yet. And towards Barry beyond him. It was there. He wants a corner, Carew. But I think if he's in front of Skittle, then all he needs is a little glancing header here and he scores. Gets in front of Skittle. He does try and glance it around the corner and this might well come off of Skittle's head. There's, there it is. Now that was a beautiful little glance. And that was heading goalward. Skittle had no idea. And that was a better delivery, I'm sorry, for Master Young. Right on the money. Here's Key. Petrov. Alonso got his body in the way. Petrov caught him. It's Mascherano. Now Kaut. Here's Robbie Keane. Lucas up to his left. Back into Keane. Alonso! What a block. Well, Keane again, involved not once but twice. Slides it wide, and I'm not sure if this is meant to come back to him, but it does. And it's a lovely little setup, and Nicky Shorey never knew an awful lot about it. Clipped his heel as he turned his back. Well, apart from uh, Ngo being on for the injured Torres, the way that Liverpool have started the game. With uh, Keane now up front. And they've been feeling the benefit. Here's De Sena. Looking for him go with a cross, and Friedel had to be absolutely sure and just tip it over. Well, they dug out a brilliant cross here, De Sena. Looks like he's running out of track here, but he manages to feed it in there. Simple tap in if Friedel doesn't deal with that for in goal. 
Well, this is more like it from Liverpool. Poor kick though from Alonso. It's a second bite. It's across that time. Beyond Keane though, and away by Larson. Kept in by Kaut. Go and Lucas both went for the same ball. I think you always have a good idea who's going for the header, whether they're going to Lucas there didn't go in with any conviction for me. You know, it's hung up. And it has got a bit of air, but you know, there are players I would have thought who are going in on this and you think, yeah, he'll get a header in, but he never really believed I don't think he was going to get it. Shorey. Now Barry. Dealt with by Jamie Carragher. Here's Barry. Shorey. Barry. He's knocked out of his stride by Lucas, Gareth Barry. Uh, look, 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 Young was on for a little while at right back. He still is if they want to play it there. Acres of space, I don't know why he's jogging away from there. Why not stay there and get the ball? But obviously they've decided this is going to be stood up. Young. Here's Petrov. Ashley Young. Well, one back by Rio Coca. Now Barry. Looking for Young. Carragher in the way. Petrov going up for the header and winning it for Nigel Rio Coca. Away by Ardala. Well, they're both having a go now. This has been the best ten minutes of the match. The beginning of the second half. Looks more like a breakthrough will come for either side. Referee, have a look. Young's kick. Oh, so many of Villa's goals last season came from corners and free kicks. Well, people will be more than aware of that this season, well, that's the thing. And they'll have worked in ways of stopping Larson's run, stopping Carew's run, but when you drop it in like the last corner and Carew doesn't move very far, at the height he's at, it's very difficult to stop him. Larson's just a great attacker of the ball. Larson with some defending to do here against Robbie Keane. Here's Ashley Young. Barry. And on the hall, looking to get away from Skirtle. Carrigan is there, but Skirtle is penalised. Should be a bit careful. Martin Skirtle was booked in the first half. Well, it's the old saying sometimes you can get too close. That was the case there. Especially when you're on a booking, because all it needs is a gone the hot, you've got control, turned them, which is easy to do when a defender is that close to you, and you bring him down, you're off. Because it would be a booking, somebody turns you that easily. Towards Larson. And Lucas did well, because I thought that was a mismatch there. 
Asena's clearance. Lukia. On by Carew. And Von Lahore. Here's Ashley Young. And top skirt his head. And that's what teams do against Villa with Young there. They just drop very, very deep. Well, they're knocking at the door. Larson's forward again, as is Curtis Davis. And John Carew, who went so close from the previous corner. Look to create more from this. It's Young's kick. Rainer gets there. And that's the best way to deal with it. It's anywhere around the round of six yard box. Get your goalkeeper to come and clean it up. Here's Gareth Barry. Davis. Martin Larson. Carragher away. found yeah. just foot up and Jimmy Carragher's head up and I've the whole limping away from there keep an eye on that this is Carragher typical isn't it might be a boot up there but he doesn't really care ball's there to be won and he's a defender can't be long an hour in now make a nice change for Villa it would be a you know, a real positive move from Martin O'Neill to bring on James Miller on that right side. Showing intent, I've got to win the game. Someone who can run at players, take them on, provide good crosses. Well, it was under O'Neill's predecessor, David O'Leary, that Milner had his loan spell here before. Actually scored in his first game at Villa Park against Tottenham. too close and people turn you. See how easy that is to win a foul there. Ashley Young knows exactly where Cout is, just uses his body to earn the free kick. We know how dangerous this is. Not a huge deal of movement from Agbon Lahore, Barry and Carew at that near post. Young takes, and it's come back across for Gareth Barry, and it's cleared by Dosena. I'm pretty sure Curtis Davis heads us. I'm absolutely sure Curtis Davis heads this. The only question is, is he nudged in the back? If he does, or should he have scored? Seth <laughs> Davis goes in there, flies in, and then he just heads it away. He just takes his eye off it at the last minute. It's a great opportunity. Just keep your eye on the ball, put your head on it firmly, and from two or three yards, you've got to score unless you hit the goalkeeper. That's a sweet free kick from Ashley Young, the sort of delivery from which he's often... Prove capable. It's Carew's header back towards Agbon Lahore, away by Carragher. Hugo, now Mascherano. And here's Kautz, up towards Robbie Keane. Martin Larson in control of that. And Liverpool revived after being reshaped at the start of the second half, but Villa have started to get the upper hand again. 
that extent. Almost 80% of the possession in the last five minutes. Well. <laughs> Here's Skirtle. Now Alonso. Here's Dasena. Count. Lucas. And they come wide again here. Back by Barry. And Davis gets it away. Well, that's what this game's like. Good pressure from Liverpool for five or ten minutes, then Villa picked up the mantle. Yeah, it's a good change, it's a positive change, it's a right change. And it's a welcome back to Villa Park for James Milner. Well, he isn't going to right back, let's make that clear. It'll be Rio Coca who drops into right back. Luke Young's going off. Rio Coca will go to right back. And Milner will play ahead of him. Milner, who parted from Newcastle with the gift of a goal in the Midlands on uh, Tuesday in their Harley Cup success at Coventry. Lucas with the header down to Arbaloa. And there's Keane with the header back. Now Dosena. Lifting one in for Lucas. Away by Gareth Barry. Here's Mascherano. Barry who slid in. Well, that's what he was playing for. Javi Mascherano, he knew he was running out of pitch. Nowhere to go. A little high five there says, well done. But I think this is what we'll get. We'll get a little spell from... Villa, a little spell from Liverpool. It's can one of these teams, when they're on top, fashion a chance and take it. It's Chubby Alonso who takes the corner. The goal looking for a way through, cleared by Martin Larson. It's Mascherano. Peter cleared by Larson. Take the down as a shot one time. <laughs> or would it have reached the goal? That was nothing, he's just dropped the ball. No forgiveness shown, though, to say that is shown a yellow card. It looked their throw, it looked Liverpool's ball, it was Liverpool's throwing. That's a disappointment. And it just drops it behind them. Might have got away with that. Two of Liverpool's back line on yellow cards now. Andrea De Sena booked. Last thing they need ahead of the uh, Manchester United game is a suspension from a red card here. No. Well, two top players at the moment are not on the pitch. And there's some work to do to get them back. Torres off during the game and Gerard. Hoping to recover from his groin operation in time. Mm. Here's Carragher. Hey, okay. Roger Rio-Coker just letting it run. You just wonder if it was for Liverpool's while, just saying to Ryan Babble. Go on, Nigel Rio-Coker at right back. You know, you've got a quarter of the game left, get on there. So it doesn't look like that. Serenio, the fullback, predominantly. He's been talked to, and Babel continues to warm up. 
wondering what he has to do to get a game at the moment since his return from the Olympics. Here's Xabi Alonso. Rio Coca. Milner. Davis. Now Shorey. Mascherano, here's Alonso. Stosena. You know, you just wonder if this is a game that's not been great. Or three quarters of it. Where well, maybe Villa have been affected by the past record against the top four clubs, which is pretty awful. And Liverpool have been affected by, obviously, Ge Gerard, Torres, you know, one or two out. Just been a little negative in the initial selection, in the initial formation, and it's just affected the game in general. That's a substitution in the offing. With Fabio Aurelio set to come on. Chubby Alonso, only playing safe. Oh, oh. Alonso in the way, now Petrov, here's Barry. Asherano and Cab closed him down so quickly. Larson just using his body to turn them and go. Here comes the Liverpool change, and it's the number 18 of Dirk Kout being held up. Fabio Aurelio coming on to replace him. Maybe something to do with the full shift he had in midweek. 120 minutes, a port and goal. But I mean, it's now not the most creative midfield you're going to see. I mean, Alonso's playing that deep. He is a creative footballer, he can pass the ball, but he's just anchored himself in front of the back four. Aurelio Mascherano and Lucas now. Clearance by Skirkel, Petrov hits it! Well, the shout went up from the whole end of handball. As Carew just flips it round the corner. No. Managed to get the... Right arm out the way, Martin Skirtle, just at the right time. Good technique. And the volley, he's capable still in Petrov. He scored a good long ranger at Derby last year, did uh, still in Petrov. Still hasn't scored here. Oh, there we go. It shows you how poor the game's been. Only eight attempts and only one on target. Sorry, folks. That attempt was uh, John Carew's straight at Jose Reyna in the first half. At this level of football, it only takes one, and one more might just decide it for either side. Cleared by Skirtle. Here's Barry. Now Larson. This is Davis. Ben Horn able to break clear of Desena. Curtis Davis up for the header. Won by Mascherano. There's Martin Larson. And it's Mascherano's beautifully placed ball through. Keane with a clean run. Brilliant recovery from Rio Coca. Well, he wants a penalty, but he's not getting it in my mind. But I don't know why Robbie Keane hasn't got to this ball quicker. What I mean is you get there quickly and you knock it in front of you, because now he should be knocking it in front once, taking it away from the retreating players. He's got to get there a little quicker. He has a look, he waits and he waits and he waits. 
And Rio Coca does enough just to put him off. It's not a penalty, Rafa. I'm sorry. Might look like it, but it definitely wasn't. And what an opportunity for Robbie Keane to open his account for this club. I'm well, pretty sure, if, sorry Rob, I'm pretty sure if that was a white shirt of last season of Tottenham, we might have had a different outcome in that. Yes, he was prolific, wasn't he, in his last couple of years? Well, he's just thinking, I think, now. He's gone a while without a goal. Might just be starting to think about it. But a Robbie Keane confident and in top form. Would have got on to that, I think, a little quicker. Taking a touch out his feet to get into the area and then finished it. Mascherano just chancing his arm, really. It's his ball through to Keane. Well, it's just played through in one from Mascherano. It was a beautifully weighted ball. And I just thought it takes a touch and he gets... He takes Rio Coker out of the equation then if he gets there quickly and takes a touch. But he just sits and waits for it. Maybe I'm doing him a disservice. Maybe he got there as quick as he could. And he deserves a great deal of credit for getting across. Robbie Keane, who uh, scored on his first league starts for three of his previous clubs, Wolves, Coventry and Leeds. Took him until his fourth to get one for Tottenham. Here's Fabio Aurelio. Now Keane. Here's De Sena. Disappointment in Benitez's face there. The return of the Spanish League this weekend on Sky Sports. Sky Sports 1 hit the red button to watch Numancia against Barcelona tonight from 6 o'clock. And the defending champions Real Madrid at Deportivo La Coruña. Sky Sports 1 tonight from 8. tell you what they've done well Liverpool defensively is when that ball's been knocked long like that up to John Carew and Carragher and Skirtle haven't contested it with him they've said that Alonso's done a brilliant job of getting around them and making life difficult but they've said okay if you're going to win it Carew let you win it but we're going to keep two centre-backs back alongside each other so that there's no gaps up here and they've done that really well here is Carragher Now Mascherano. Skirtle. Xavi Alonso. Here's Dosena. Robbie Keane. Here's Mascherano. Trying to feed it out to the Sena. Can he keep it in? He has. Mm, just a little heavy with the pass, Mascherano, because he couldn't really control it, the Sena, the way he wanted. He was just reaching to get there, and therefore that meant he couldn't get enough control on it. Almost stood it up pretty well. And the Sena's endeavours have won a corner. Xavi Alonso will take. Beyond and go and cleared by Martin Larson. Here's Skirtle. Now Mascherano. Here's Carragher. Javier Mascherano, Arbeloa, now Petrov, Agbon Lahore, Nicky Shorey, header clear by Alonso, 
Keane away. In comes Larson. Now Mascherano. Larson out of position. The break beyond. He's uh, quickly retreated, Martin Larson. Here's Ngo. Blocked by Davis. Arbola. Tried to guide it in to Keane, but he'd made his move early. It's Carew's header. Von the Hall not close enough to him to benefit. No, rather left on his own. Feeling the effects of cramp, John Carew. There's Robbie Keane again. He doesn't see the end of a game. I'm sure it'll come. I'm sure it's a matter of time. And once the first one does go in, then I'm absolutely convinced that he'll find that goal-scoring form that he always has had. He might be talking about the rear corker incident there, as if he was saying he was chopped. But when he sees it again, I think he'll understand why a penalty wasn't given. Ray Gardner, who scored Villa's goal in the UEFA Cup draw in midweek, comes on for Nicky Shorey. Now got two midfield players for Villa playing at right and left back. Gareth Barry at left back, Nigel Rea Coker at right back. Here's Skirtle. And Mascherano. Alonso. It's Ben Ayun. Now Arbaloa. Ben Ayun with the touch. Here's Lucas. Shot by Barry. Mascherano. Cleared by Gareth Barry. Here's Skirtle. Lump forward that Ben Ayunan and Go are trying to get on the end of. Friedel couldn't catch and he's punched it right to Lucas. Here's Ngo. Here's Gardner. Nervy moment then for the Villa defence. And now Young looks to break at the other end. Here's Nigel Rio Coca. Petrov. Davis. Ashley Young, nobody there for him. He's played a little blind, I think, there, Ashley Young. Milner and he have changed sides. Oh, that's a great ball. It's Chubby Alonso's ball. Larson has to deal with here. Ben Ayun just trying to make life a little uncomfortable for him. And a back by Milner. Now Gareth Barry. Up to Carew, but beyond him to have Von Lahore. Dossena is across to cover. Flag up. Well, Martin O'Neill with uh, cause to worry about this phase of the game. Villa lost to an injury time winner for Stoke. Last week, and they dropped 11 points with goals conceded in the last 10 minutes of matches last season, including in both games against Liverpool. Hit by Milner. Nice well, sight for Rayner. Yeah, just didn't set it wide enough. Had to take it quickly, so he didn't really have time to set himself. James Milner. It's away from Mascherano. You can see that sets it off to Neil Pepe Reina. Peru. 
Now Rio Coca. Driven across. That's a great ball. Not aiming at anybody here. And just fuzzing it across the face of goal. Just let you see somebody dive at that. Rather than just hang a leg at it. to third minute winner against Sunderland, 93rd minute winner against Middlesbrough, 118th minute winner against Standard Liège. Liverpool do grow strong in this phase of the game, and it may not have been a performance in which they've necessarily covered themselves with glory, but if they can uh, pull off the same trick again and keep up their 100% record in the Premier League at the start of this season, Rafa Benitez certainly won't be complaining. No, I think those were games they were intent and winning late on. I'm not so sure that's the case here. Good piece of skill here. Actually makes the floor himself, doesn't he? Young's ball in, looking to pick out Martin Larson. Oh, that's beating the goalkeeper. That's all it takes. Look how much he takes this big run from the back post. No one tracks him. No one gets in the line of his run just to make him check. They allow him to get a run. And if he does, he does that. He beats you, he gets his head to it. And he's very close to getting Villa a late winner. Well, he scored three times already this season, Martin Larson, just one of them in the league, which did uh, stem from a free kick, although it wasn't one of Ashley Young's better efforts. But he is uh, such a threat that you would have expected him to be picked up then. Here's Petrov. What they've done, Liverpool, they've just tried to get across the runs and stop them making a straight run, they didn't then. Agbon Lahore trying to roll it into Carew's path. It was diverted by Skirtle. On by Rio Coca, away by Mascherano. Villa don't have another home game in the league for a month. Sunderland next visitors here. Well, if they were looking to find a bit of form, Liverpool, you can look at this performance and honestly say they have. That may be unfair. Having started without Gerard and lost Torres within what 15 minutes of the start. But you still expect Liverpool, I think, to offer as an attacking force a little bit more than they have. They've done what they do. I think very well defensive. I said that right at the beginning, they're good defensively. You would never ever worry about Liverpool. They don't give a lot away. But it's at the other end where you do worry just a bit about them. Milner. Barry, the risky one, he found Curtis Davis. Rio Coca. Ashley Young. Gardner applying the pressure to Javier Mascherano, who resists. And goes Larson against Penayun. Rio Coca. Agbon Lahore. Fabio Aurelio. Larson's header. Carew. Gardner. 
Barry. Now Milner. Gardner seems to give up on that. It's cleared by Carragher. Here's Ashley Young. Here's the free kick out of Aurelio. Well, another opportunity. And Ashley Young says, I'll leave it to Gareth Barry's left foot. Well, it was the story before the game, having been pursued by Liverpool, only to stay here at Villa. Is he going to have a headline-making act to perform here? You just, Gareth feel Barry. That, you just feel that Liverpool are having more and more difficulty in dealing with these. I can't believe Curtis Davis hasn't been up either. It's Barry's kick, Larson climbs. Oh, it was headed dangerously back. <laughs> well, it's the captain who clears it off the line. I don't know what it was Skirtle's header. It certainly wasn't a Villa head that headed it towards goal. Young's throw. Here's Gardner. Peru. Petrov urged to have a go, but looks instead to Rio Coca. No, much shallow with that. Oh, how ambitious will Liverpool be on the break? Kick around Mascherano's made up. And Villa have another chance to come back at Liverpool as stoppage time approaches. Ashley Young. Header clear. Mascherano. Here's Ngo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but Arbaloa makes a 80 yard run. <laughs> Which is sure his manager will be happy he's gone there, but not the greatest of passes. Just the two added minutes. And the Hall wins a throw in out of Martin Skirtle. Such a solid rear guard performance from Liverpool that Can Villa crack it open in what's left here. Barry's throw. Cleared by Ngo to Stylian Petrov. Rio Coca displeasing the fans, but saw Ben Ayun coming towards him and didn't want to take the risk. Now by uh, Carew. That's how they've done well. See what we're talking about there, Rob. You see, none of the centre-backs were involved in that challenge on John Carew. It was Abelow in front of him, and it was Alonso behind him. You know, they've done that really well. Obviously, worked on it, talked about it. But I just wonder how long we've gone in a game without Liverpool having a single shot on target. It's a statistic that will concern Rafa Benitez, who wasn't helped by the early loss within half an hour of Fernando Torres. Hey! Here's Mascherano. Rio Coca. Up on the hall looking to get there, but... Mascherano was determined that he would be there first. This is where he was. Jimmy Carragher for once misjudged that. And I've gone the horror is on and running. And we're beyond the two minutes the referee was going to add on. And it finishes with a draw, so Liverpool's 100% record in the league is ended, but they're still unbeaten. Not a single shot on target for Rafa Benitez's team. And Villa working the goalkeeper only once through John Carew, so no headline making out for Gareth Barry against the team he wanted to join and that wanted to sign him. Villa nil, Liverpool nil.